Hello lovelies, we have four months until exams starts. 99.9% sure that is an accurate statement. So here are four things that you should be doing. So the majority of the exams are scheduled to start either the week beginning 16th away, the week beginning the, the 23rd of May, and then we go into half term and they will finish after half term. If you aren't sure when your exams are, if you want to go and have a look it up, then over my website I've put in a calendar which has all the exam dates. So just scroll through to May, scroll through to June and look at when your exams are going to be, how spread out your exams are going to be, if you've got a really horrible day with two big exams on. Um, that information is all up there ready for you um, on my website, on the exam board's website or maybe even up on your school websites. Oh, the other thing that is on my website for you is I've made you some completely free downloadable revision time labels. So I've taken all of the bits that you need to know about how much time you've got left between now and start of the exams, and the end of the exams, and I've planned things out for you so that you do not have to do this. Just taking a whole massive job off you because I've done it for you already. So I put in like what days you need to have a rest on, what days you need to do assessments on, what days you need to do practice papers on, what days you need to do kind of like um, focus on this, focus on that. Obviously, jiggle it around if it doesn't work for you. If you know you can't do Sundays for whatever reason, just jiggle it around. Um, but you can go and download those and it's a really, really good start, really, really good basis to start your revision if you are completely lost or you don't know what to do. There'll be a link down in the description below. You can just go and download those for free and use them as you want to because we are we still have four months for the exams there's still quite a lot of time and I know lots of you are like you know planning or starting revision after the half term after February half term or over Easter because that's when that's when I know from previous experience that is when you guys like to start revising um but I'm gonna try and convince you to start now doesn't matter when you're watching this video, please start now. Um, because even 10 minutes a day, 5 minutes a day on a subject really, really builds up over time. So that when you get to the exams, that 5 minutes that you did in February will actually help you. Even if you don't remember that it helps you, it really, really will. There are a few key things we need to think about doing now, this weekend, incorporating into your general revision, your general study, your general homework from now up until the exams. So it is all low key, low stakes, low stress stuff. We're not going to be like pounding in the papers now, right from the beginning, under exam conditions, because you're doing that school already with all the extra mocks that you're doing and stuff, and um, we don't need need to be doing that at home as well. You can start doing past papers by all means. Um, they're a really good thing to do, but try doing them as open book papers. Um, try kind of like, if you're not sure exactly what the question is, go and look it up in a book, sit the way the mark scheme, look at how the examiners want you to answer the questions. Um, you don't have to do this to like a high stakes test, a bit of homework. Do it as open book. This is revision, not a test. You do not have to put loads of unnecessary pressure on yourself by making you kind of like sit a paper in exam conditions at home when you don't have to. Remember, this is revision. Look stuff up, watch the videos, use the flashcards, just, just do some revision. The other thing that's great is uh, preparing lots of stuff. So I just mentioned flashcards. Flashcards are really, really good. Um, they help you revise and the act of making them helps you remember things. So um, it doesn't matter whether you have like actual physical bits of paper, whether you've gone out and bought fancy booklets like this from your favourite station shop in your favourite colour or whether you've got ones on Quizlet, um, or whether you can use my ones on Quizlet as well. Um, the act of making flashcards is in itself revision, but if you don't want to make flashcards and just use somebody else's, that's fine. If we use this time now to make flashcards, which you can then use lots and lots and lots um, in the coming months, that is still good revision. Making flashcards is good revision, and it will help you save time when we come later on. 
And even if you are sitting there typing flashcards up in Quizlet, which loads of other people have done before you, the act of making them is still revision. So don't think or don't look at it as wasted time. Now, we have time before the exams. We do not need to start freaking out. But there are going to be lessons where you probably weren't paying attention or you weren't in or you were off or um you know it was an online lesson and the internet cut out or you were properly properly sick or lots of reasons why it is very rare that every single person is in every single lesson for every single subject all of the time um so what you need to do is to work out which lessons you missed what was taught in those lessons and then work out how you can fill in those gaps so basically going through identifying the gaps in your knowledge and then working out how you can fill in those gaps in your knowledge now your mocks are actually a useful exercise for this because if there's a whole question that just completely blanked you on your mocks well, that's a gap in your knowledge that we can fill in. The other thing that you can do is look at the, the knowledge checklist that I've made for you, which you get given free when you sign up to my mailing list. And these um, basically go through and have a list of absolutely everything the examiner thinks that you should know written down um, in, in like it on a bit of paper for you to colour in and check off and do stuff like that with. So um, you can go through all of those and just say, yes, I know this, yes, I know this, yes, I know this, no, I don't know this. And then just go and fill in that gap. That is something that is like absolutely brilliant to do with this time. Now, the other thing we need to do with this time is work out what sort of things work for you in terms of looking after your mental health now for some people that'll be going for a run for some people that'll be doing mindfulness for some people that'll be like reading a book or something like that taking the dog for a walk or sitting down with a cup of tea and watching rubbish television you need to work out what it is that calms you down so when you get to that point where it feels like your head is about to explode and you can't cope anymore and you're kind of like going Aah! what is it that brings you back down from that point now we're not going. hopefully we're not going to be getting to that point now but we probably will in a few months time around exam period and if we can work out that actually taking the dog for a 10 minute walk even though he's already had these two walks for a day doesn't really need one taking a dog for a 10 minute walk around the block actually really calms you down really really focuses you and then we you can sit back down at your desk and do a bit more revision afterwards that is a really important thing to work out now and if we start putting those habits in place now by the time we get around to the exam by the time you really really need that skill and that technique it will already be in place you will already be doing it habitually you already just have it as part of your day so that you know 10 minute mindfulness in between each subject that you do if you get into the habit of doing it now will just be there already and waiting for you as something in your skill set when you come to revise for your exams um because trying to work out what that that thing is that brings you back from the edge in april when you really really need it well, you don't have time to do it and you're not in the right headspace to do it. So let's work it out now. So, guys, four months before exams start, uh, we can do this. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.